Welcome to Paradise TV. I'm Carly Wegner. And I'm Stephanie Summers. Tonight, we are out at Charlotte Sports Park, home of the Tampa Bay Rays during spring training. Charlotte Sports Park is the place to watch the Rays while they get ready for the upcoming Major League Baseball season. The weather and the location make it a perfect place to watch baseball in paradise. Fans come from all over to cheer on the Rays, soak up the sun, and enjoy all things spring training. We've got baseball, we've got food, and of course fun, and we're really just out here trying to soak up some Rays. Oh yeah, we have everything that Paradise has to offer tonight. We're going to swing for the fences. Let's go ahead and get tonight's show started. In tonight's show, we play ball, hitting a home run in Paradise, a visit to the historical Terry Park. Catching up on Hammond Stadium and their remodel, and movies that slide their way onto the silver screen. When it comes to spring training, Southwest Florida really does have a front row seat. There are several Major League Baseball teams that call this place home in the spring, including the world champs, Boston Red Sox. Oh, yes, and for the fans, it truly is a unique experience that you will only find right here in Paradise. Come with us as we experience the game right in our own backyard. You see them all the time. I'm number one fan from Boston, Massachusetts. Go Sox. I go to all the games. I'm here for opening game. I'm here for Patriots Day game. I take the game seriously. Crazy sports fans who seem to live and die and travel base to base with their team. We're here watching the game. We came down from Connecticut to see a spring training game. Through the thick and thin of last season's beards, these fans follow every game their team plays as if spring training were another world championship. I always have a beard, but last year I grew it out a little more during the World Series and all that, and I uh, haven't taken it off since. It's baseball. It means it's time for uh, baseball season to get going. And everybody to get on the wagon and watch the Red Sox win another championship. These are not bandwagon fans, but rather fans baptized at birth. We've been Boston Red Sox fans all our lives. I, I bleed red. Think of the home stadium as the church and the team logo, their symbol of faith. It's, it's, a, it's a common uh, camaraderie, I guess you could say. You know, everybody's here for the same thing, watch baseball and have a good time. And you know, the, the general feelings in the air, you can, you can see it, you can feel it, and you can taste it. These, in my opinion, are the best fans in baseball. I'm a fan of baseball. I'm here watching some spring training games and I'm staying in Clearwater and drove down to Fort Myers to see the stadium. And they never leave the house without their socks on. Red Sox here and I got Red Sox here and I always have my socks on. It's it's something you have to experience. You hear that crack of the bat and you automatically turn your head and you hear the the crowd cheering and you got to see what they're all excited about. It's, it's just an experience that you have to witness and be a part of. Keep your socks on. We are so fortunate that we live in one of only two places in the country that they spring train, oh, yeah. state of Florida and the state of Arizona. That's right, we are lucky. And speaking of lucky, do you feel lucky, Carly? How could you not out here? <laughs> It's time for tonight's trivia question. The team that spring train in Florida are part of the Grapefruit League. What are the teams that train in Arizona called? Stay tuned because the answer is in the final inning of the show. All right, that's a pretty good question. It is, and now it's time for some more trivia. Did you know that there is a park that is still in use that baseball great Babe Ruth once played at? Ah, you must be talking about Terry Park. To get all the history of Terry Park, you have to go back to 1921 when the Terry family donated almost 25 acres of pasture to Lee County. Since then, Terry Park has hosted some of the greatest baseball teams and players in the history of the sport. Teams like the Philadelphia Athletics, the Cleveland Indians, the Pittsburgh Pirates, and even the Kansas City Royals have all called Terry Park home. Today, the park is used for baseball leagues and tournaments, but it's the Hall of Fame legends that once played ball at Terry Park that make it a grand slam. Some of the great baseball players that play here, Babe Ruth, you know, uh, uh, Jimmy, Jimmy Fox, Roberto Clemente, you know, a lot, a lot of those guys, we, some of the fields are named after them right now. That is some serious star power. It is. Terry Park is on the National Register of Historical Places by the Department of Interior. And how cool, it's right here in our backyard, right here in Paradise. For more on spring training or anything else you've seen here tonight, Log on to our website, fox4now.com slash paradise. We've only begun swinging for the fences tonight. That's right, we are just warming up. Coming up next on Paradise TV. In the mood for a movie and a night out, we have just a thing for you. 
and later singing your way to home plate. At the twilight's last Up next, the perfect place to watch the big game from. But first, tonight's Pictures in Paradise, brought to you by the Seminole Casino Immokalee.